what we are seeing today is uh, uh, just the politicization of the police but the cops should even i think they should have some self respect that they have got a job to do they should do it properly people don't expect the police to be politicized and if you find that they take action as per law and according to the facts of the case many things will improve the law and order the security climate all that will improve but unfortunately the process of depoliticization of the police has not started because though the supreme court has understood it and passed orders the states for, on some pretext or other they are not following it they are not implementing the orders of the court and uh, every party it's not only uh, the today the bjp is in power but the congress did the same thing and today if you have uh, mamta banerjee in west bengal she uses the police it for her and and in tamil nadu you have aidmk or dmk they do the sim- similar thing and uh, and the congress and the bjp are doing it all the time so i don't know whether this is how people want want uh, the security uh, issues to be resolved it, it is something very frightening today if they are told to um, beat up these stu- some students belonging to another party they would do that and tomorrow if that party comes in power and they say beat up the others i mean this is a ridiculous way of of running a, a an administration and the rule of law anyone who commits an offense should be taken to task that is what we had learned in the police academy <laughs> dealing with students is a is an art by itself you know you can also talk to them you can convince them and that i don't know my own experience has been quite different i, I had a problem in vjti when i was a commissioner but i knowing that my strength lay in talking to people i went personally though i was the commissioner of police i didn't send my junior he accompanied me but i went and talked to the to the students and it was resolved and even the uh, the vice chancellor thanked me for for having gone there and and resolved that issue but the point is you have to have that kind of sensibility of feelings you know that look these are young people who are going to be our future leaders and and they have their own uh, you know way of thinking L- let us go down to that way of thinking and talk to them on that level and uh, this uh, i think that the police should learn how to deal with students and you don't you have to use really use the minimum force force may be necessary when some outsiders come and and try and mingle with the students students as such would not normally indulge in violence normally they should be prosecuted for for uh, robbery or for for uh, you know whatever the sections of law are applicable to destruction of property and i mean nobody is allowed to do that but if the if the people who are supposed to uphold the law themselves go and do it and there's nobody to catch them and then what do that do it's uh, it's absolutely state terrorism and uh, uh, is this something i have not seen earlier i can tell you my own experience but that is 35 years ago and we uh, when a senior officer gave an order it was carried out and though at the lower level say in my time the shiv sena was very uh, coming up you know and uh, there was a lot of sympathy for the shiv sena from the police because they they uh, appealed to them on the basis of their of their identity that is their maharashtrian identity and so there was a lot of even the children of the policemen but then you give an order that i want these people arrested they used to bring it because they didn't dare to go against the orders of the superior but now even the superiors have been reduced to, to non entities they don't they don't uh, you know control their own force 
I mean, you, it's, they just want that position of commissioner of police, but not, without any uh, ability, or if they have abilities, inabil inability to, to use those abilities. So what do you do about that? Uh, you know, if the, unless this power of transfers and all are taken away from this political class, you will, you will not have any change in this because they decide everything. They are in power. And even the law is, is, uh, is according to their wishes. It's not according to what the law says. It's according to what they say. In our times, they had the same powers, the politicians. But if we put our foot down, they couldn't do a thing about that. I had mentioned one case where I was the deputy commissioner in, in you know, the, this, uh, your uh, park, Shivaji Park came under my control. And I, we learned that the, they were, the Shiv Sena was going to disturb George Fernandez's meeting of all unionists, etc. And they were going to beat up those people. And then when we learned that, we shared this information with the chief minister at that time, a Congress chief minister. And he said, oh, let that happen. So and this, that was, I was the DCP. And this was, was told to me that he said, let it happen. I was not going to let it happen. And I didn't let it happen. And, I, and so then next day I was asked, I said, no, I do, I, I, I do my duty according to law. They did nothing to me. I thought the most they could do is transfer me. But they didn't even do that. Because they knew that they were, they were, they were in, a, in a bad country. But today our officers do it. They carry out those orders. <laughs> Cops should even, I think, they should have some self-respect that they have got a job to do. They should do it properly. And if they if they go on approaching the politicians for transfers and appointments, sometimes so that they could make money and sometimes just for the sake of importance, I think they should stop that. Stop the habit of approaching the politicians for appointments and transfers because then the people today have understood it. You've seen the youth has understood what is happening. They are all in revolt. It is not a joke. This government should be bothered about it. <laughs>